here's what's for dinner. I'm going to make a um, chicken pot pie. As I said earlier, I don't know how fast this will, in what order I'll put these different parts for today's um, vlog. But that what I use is um, just, you know, a boxed store-bought crust. I need a bottom and a top and a 9-inch pie pan. You can see it there. Half a cup of onion, half a cup of celery. I put three tablespoons of butter in a frying pan, get it nice and hot, and I put the celery and onion, and I make them nice and soft, not too soft, but soft enough. Then I put a little wonder in there, and I make a roux with, um, oh, I, you cook the wonder first to get the, you know, raw flour taste out of it almost to brown but not quite and then I add um, into the um, flour and vegetables and butter some of this um, better than bouillon what flavor is this one it's the roasted chicken base so I just put a spoonful with some hot water and stirred it around and I've got that so after that makes a nice roux I'm gonna put in a can of cream of chicken too all for flavor and I'm going to mix that all together in a bowl right here. Then I'm going to add some carrots. These are um, straining in a bowl. Some carrots and some peas that were in a bag frozen. And so that'll be the vegetables in there. I mean, other than the carrots and celery. And I'll add all of that to the bowl. When that's done, I'll chunk up this chicken. I have typically used regular chicken chopped up, but because of the price of chicken, I'm going to go ahead and use this um, lesser expensive. So these were the two dented cans. I thought I'd only need one and a half, but that's just about right for one pot pie. I'm going to make the pieces smaller, you know. And then, after it's all mixed together, I'll put the um, first crust down, and that'll be the bottom layer. I'll put the bowl of chicken and vegetables and everything into the bottom crust. And then I'll put the top layer crust on. I like to brush it with a little bit of egg white to make it shiny. Oh, and you know what I should also say? I, I do add some, some um, nice seasonings. Like I like to put a little bit of garlic, some thyme, some salt, some pepper. Um, oh, onion powder, and that kind of thing. So anyway, I make a shiny crust on top. I bake it at 375 just until the um, crust is beautiful and brown because everything inside is really actually already cooked. And it's an easy thing, and I'll show you when it's done. Okay, here's the base. It's got the vegetables, onions, celery, carrots, peas, um, cream of chicken soup, bouillon, a little bit of flour to make the rib butter. Um, so here's the chicken that came from the can and I broke it up so it was, you know, smaller pieces. And mix this up together and I'll show it to you in the crust in just a sec. I can't do it with one hand. So here it is in the pie crust. Oh, I wanted to tell you, um, I used, if I had to guess, a teaspoon of thyme, uh, you know, out of a um, spice bottle and I rub it before I drop it in so it kind of releases the flavor. I don't know if that really works but I've heard you're supposed to do that with, with uh, seasonings. added a whole bunch of pepper. Um, I did not, I decided not to use the minced garlic because my husband gets enough garlic on the ship and we're taking a break from garlic. That's my story. Anyway, um, I'm going to put the top layer on. I'm going to cook it like I said till the crust is golden brown and um you know i've got the top layer here i'll show you when that's on okay here it is i put some little poke holes in there you know so it can vent and one of the things that i do when i um cover a pie crust any pie crust with um egg white if it's a fruit pie i like to sprinkle granulated sugar across it just for an extra little something something um, but of course I wouldn't do that with a savory pot pie like this uh, what I was going to say is I put the egg white not the yolk just the white in a bowl and then I whisk it not till it's like got peaks or anything but just until it's foamy because 
in my opinion, that breaks up the proteins or whatever. So when you dip your basting brush in to brush the top of your crust, it doesn't just like go from one spot to the next back and forth. It actually spreads a lot more easily. So I'm going to put this onto um, a pan lined with foil. This is just a pizza pan lined with foil so that um, it won't spill as I try to take it out or dribble over the oven, which is my main concern. You know, I just cleaned that up and <laughs> it already looks like it needs it again, though. Um, one last thing is I tasted it and decided that it did not need salt. I believe the chicken, the canned chicken has salt. I know the canned soup has salt. Um, we just didn't need any more. What we did need was extra pepper because that gave it a little extra kick. Just black pepper is what I use, but you could use anything you want. And this really isn't a recipe. It's like a cook with your tongue, <laughs> you know, what do you think <laughs> kind of thing. And I'm um, just happy to share it with you. And I hope that uh, it'll be pretty when it comes out. It's going to go in. I had the oven on 350. I decided to kick it up to 375. I want it done faster than that. I think it'll work better at 375. I'll show you when it's out. There it is. It's in the oven. I'm going to check it every 15 minutes.